All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick review here of Autopilot version nine. Start with the interface. Looks very similar to the experience on the Model 3, although the orientation is a bit different. Got similar controls. Still the same autopilot settings. Elon Musk tweeted out that it's gonna be a little bit longer before we have the ability um, to change the lane change um, features. All the same settings we're used to, just a little bit different visualization on how we interact with them. Probably the one that looked the most different to me was the, where is it at? The sunroof. You can still open it. You can still control the percentage. It just looks a little bit different. Kind of cool the way we access what we want to show. Before, it used to be at the top, and we'd have to tap this thing and try and get it to show up. Now, instead, we just hit this little arrow menu here, and we can switch to things like energy. We can switch to things like web, camera, switch to calling, charging if you want to, set your charge limit. And calendar. Uh, you can also control the heat on the seats right here. Turn it up, turn it down. Temperature. You can dive into more specifics here. Overall, the update's a really clean new interface. One of the really cool things now in software version nine is it detects the type of car around you. So you get vehicle, SUV, bus, and if somebody pulls behind you, it'll actually show the car behind you on the vision. Uh, that's a really cool functionality. It's nice to get a real reflection of the vehicles that are around you. Oh, there we go. We got a car behind me on my right, showed up. Before, the car wouldn't show up until it was right next to you, but now we're getting cars visible behind us. It's a pretty cool upgrade. Last but not least, let's take a look at the new Atari games. So we got a handful of new games in here. We've got Asteroids, we've got Lunar Command, one of my all-time favorites, Missile Command. And it's pretty cool. When it comes to playing these games, there's a couple different ways you can control it. So you can do the kind of standard arcade controls by using this little navigation functionality. Let me show you what it looks like to use this navigation functionality to move around and then fire the missiles. Or you can use what I much more prefer is go to full screen, use your finger to draw along like this, and then use the wheel button to shoot. So that's gonna take two hands to do, but I feel like it's a lot more accurate. I can do a lot better job taking out the missiles this way. The end. Thanks for watching my review of Autopilot version 9.0. Please thumb up our video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.